Hey, how you doing? Welcome to this Lightroom mobile preset tutorial. In this preset tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this preset. So all the presets that you see in any of my preset tutorials I've made myself and um, I'm just going to show you how to make this one. So, um, so yeah, let's um, grab your mobile device and let's follow this through. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the um, we're going to go to the right hand side on the uh, on the toolbar, and we're going to open up the the light tab. What you do is just simply tap it. If you're not used it before, I'm sure you've all used them before. So we just simply tap it, and in the exposure. So let me just quickly explain this to you. We see quite a few mobile tutorials where people are sliding or holding and dragging the sliders up and down. If you just tap the slider above where you want to um, to make a change it will just go up and down in increments of five plus five minus five whichever ever side you do it so let's um, now we've got that out of the way let's crack on the exposure right we're just going to um, tap a few times and take it up to plus 50 and then the contrast we're going to take that up to plus 60. so i'm just tapping this and it will go up you can obviously slide them if you want i'm going to go highlights I'm going to go plus 20, and then um, my shadows, I'm going to go minus 10. On the whites, we're going to go all the way down, so I just grab the slider and drag it down to minus 100, and then on the blacks, we're going to go up to plus 45. So if you're sort of one or two either side, don't really worry about that, because um, you're not going to get it spot on all the time with a tone curve anyway. So then we're going to press this little, um, this little curve button up here, and um, we're going to go to the tone curve. The tone curve generally should look a little bit like um, like this that you see on the screen now. But I'm just going to show you how to do it. So first and foremost, what we do is if we just grab that bottom left hand side, all it will do is just slide the slider up. Um, so I'm sure that you know um, here we've got our shadows over on the left hand side of the screen in the middle of the screen or the middle of the tone curve line we've got our mid tones and then at the top we've got our or on the right hand side we've got our highlights or our lighter parts of the image so um, what we're going to do is we're going to create two other uh, sorry three other points on this um, on this curve I'm going to make one somewhere down the bottom there one somewhere roughly in the middle there and then one off up to the right up here so what I'm going to do with my um, with my first, the, the very bottom one, so let's count them along, one, two, three, four, five. We've got five in total now. The very first one that we didn't create was already there. We're not going to do anything with that. But the second one, we're going to pull down into this um, second square somewhere down here. Then what we're going to go up to the middle one, and we're going to drag some of the mid-tones down also like so. So we've got that second one there, drag the mid-tones down also, and then the one up the top, we're just going to um, drag down and move down a little bit like this, and um, and we'll end up with this sort of this sort of shape on our um, on our tone curve line. So then we can close the um, the light tab down, and what we're going to do then is we're going to go over into the color tab or down into the color tab, should I say? So open up the expand the color tab and then on our temperature we're going to leave that as it is we're going to leave our tint as it is our vibrance we're going to take down to minus 25 and then our saturation that's going to come down to minus 30. Um, and then we're going to go to the um, to the color color wheel here just so I just press the color wheel it's going to move my toolbar up a little bit so I can see and then we've got our color mix here and you can see I've got my red selected on the red I'm just going to go um, plus plus 15 on the luminance I'm gonna go minus 20 minus 10 um, and then we're gonna to go to the orange on the orange we're gonna go minus 15 minus 15 and plus 15 so minus 15 here minus 15 on the saturation then plus 15 on the luminance there then we're gonna go over to the yellow and we're gonna drag the U all the way down the U all the way down the saturation all the way down and leave the luminance as it is then we're gonna to go to the green and we're gonna drag the um, the green down to to around between 75 and 80 somewhere somewhere around there just drag the greens down a little bit leave the hue saturation goes between 75 and 80 luminance make zero 
Then we're going to go to the teal colour, just drag the saturation all the way down and then the hue all the way up to my plus, plus 100 on the hue and then minus 100 on the saturation, leave the luminance as it is. And then we're going to go um, to the blue and we're going to drag that down to between 90 and 100, somewhere around there, it really doesn't matter. We're going to do the same on the purple um, and then the same on the pinks as well between 90 and 100. So that's that done. We can um, scroll back up a little bit, close that, um, that color wheel down, and then we're gonna go and open our effects. So in our effects, our texture, we wanna come up to minus 10, um, clarity plus 20, and then we're gonna dehaze. We're gonna go up a little bit more with a dehaze, so we're gonna go plus 40 with a dehaze, and then we always have a little bit of vignette. Um, so minus five, so that's the dark. If we went the other way, it would lighten it up, the vignette. On this one, we just want it a bit, a little bit darker. So minus four, minus five, somewhere, somewhere around there. Um, there we go, minus five. So midpoint should take you up to about 50 anyway, and then the feather should roughly again be around 50. Um, if you scroll down, we're then gonna go to our split tone in. Now on our split tone in, all we simply want to do is, um, you see this this little little circle here. This is our our highlights and then our shadows in for the for the color for the color range. So we want to go to about hue. So we drag it along till we get. And you can see on the top of my screen, it will give me a few numbers. So I'm just going to lift it up and go to about 211. 210, 211 on the hue, and then um, the saturation a bit lower, sort of between between five and ten. So, so you can see as I move my pen off there, it does actually change it. So you just have to try and be as um, as accurate as you can. Um, so roughly around there. If you don't get it spot on, don't worry too much about it. But that's roughly where we're going to be. Okay, and then on the shadows, we're going to go for um, 220, and then um, and then 11 on the sh on the shadows. So hue 220, and the saturation roughly about 11. But again, like I said, if you don't get it spot on, don't worry about it. It is a bit um, it is a bit picky sometimes that, and. Yes, it will make some difference to the image, but not a great deal that you're going to see unless you're a professional sort of photographer and you really analyse in this image. I am a professional photographer, um, but like I said, I'm not going to be analysing this image as much. Cool. So next on our um, on our effects, we're going to close that down. So all we do then is go up to our um, three little dots at the top right hand side create that preset where do we want to save it we want to save it look here in this little um, drop down arrow into user presets or you can create a new preset group um, but I'm gonna I've created let's create a new preset group um, YouTube presets that's that done so we're gonna save in YouTube YouTube presets and we'll call this one BLCK like so Press the little arrow, plus arrow there, BLCK. Now, if I wanted to add this to another image, I just bring the other image in, like this one here. Go to my presets, my YouTube presets, select the BLCK preset, apply that, click done. That's that preset applied. And then if I wanted to make any changes from there, I'd make the changes from there. Hope you enjoyed this um, tutorial, and um, hope you enjoy making this preset. Catch you all soon.